going on, y'all? It's your boy, Bobito87, and we are back. We are back to do another anime review. And today's anime review, I'm going to be doing this. Well, it's an old anime. It was on my top five nostalgia animes of my first top five, which is Monster Ranger, man. Now, I ain't going to lie. This show, uh, I used to watch as a kid back on, uh, I believe it was, it was uh, I don't think it was on Fox Kids. No, it wasn't on Fox Kids. It was on, uh, like, ABC Family back in the day. Um, I think that was the only, yeah, that was the only time I saw Monster Ranger was on ABC. I don't think it was in any other. It probably was. I just I watched it on ABC Family, and um, it's one of those shows where I kind of feel like it has a Pokemon and a Digimon combination. It's like they took Pokemon, and Digimon, and they, they just combined it. But pretty much Monster Ranch is pretty much about this kid named Genki. Hope I'm saying his name right. He's kid named Genki. He uh, he plays he plays a video game called Monster Rancher. He gets uh, he actually gets dragged into into the game and he meets Holly. He meets Swayzo, then uh, he resurrects uh, a monster of his own called Moochie. They meet Hare, Golem, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole crew, and they pretty much go on this big adventure to find Mystery Disc to find the Phoenix. Now, the Phoenix is this big old bird that can fight Mew, who is this evil, evil monster that was created by humans. And uh, I have to say, man, after watching the show again, the second time, after watching it all the way through, I love this show. Um, the only thing that I didn't really like was the ending, which, I mean, no, I mean, it was a good ending, but the ending was kind of, t I love endings where it shows, um, more about what happens after. You know, after they beat, you know, the, the evil guy, what happens next? Like, where are they? You know, like, okay, like, what's, like, what's Holly doing? What's Hair doing? What's Mushi doing? Like, are they all together? Ganky, you grow up. I don't know. I mean, I love stuff like that. I would have loved to see that, but it's not that big of a deal. It was still a good ending, you know, um. But yeah, what I really love about the show is just how much action was in it. Um, I did love, again, the storyline. The storyline was very interesting. You know, you find out that, you know, because uh, Holly has this stone that tells him where to go to find the phoenix. And long, make a long story short, they find out that Hare, Golem, uh, Mucha, they're all the phoenix. They're spirits of the phoenix. So the whole time, they've been looking for... The spirit. Well, they were looking for the phoenix. They found the phoenix in an ice thing, but then they were like, "Okay, where's the where, where's the spirit? Where are we gonna find it at?" And come to find out, but come to find out, they was the phoenix. The whole the, the spirit, man. They're 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 they they pretty much because apparently back in the day, back uh back when they created the phoenix, him the phoenix and Mew and Mew Mew, they were fighting and they both uh were destroyed by uh, some laser from the humans because they decided just no we're going to just kill all the monsters but mostly just kill them both and uh, apparently they both they they both died and then they actually split the spirit well their spirits went all over the place Mew went somewhere the phoenix apparently went into went, went somewhere you kind of find out that Moochie the Golem Swayzo um, and hair they're all the spirit they're the spirit all together they make the spirit of the phoenix and that was a pretty cool concept i like that if you know what i mean it was really cool um favorite character i had to say it definitely had to be golem golem man yo golem warmed my heart man he definitely was the nicest <laughs> loving monster you will ever see he's this big gigantic monster but he's just like the nicest monster you will ever meet like there was an ep there was a couple episodes where the um you see him um he befriends uh one of the baddies uh she tricks him into saying yeah you know i want to be your friend i'm lonely kind of find out she she was there to destroy the crew and um uh, apparently golem made her a promise that she would never get hurt that he would protect her and stuff like that so every time she attacked they were you know every time she attacked they, they tried to defend themselves he will block the attack from them and say you will not hurt her and they're thinking like, yo, Golem, what's wrong with you, man? You crazy, man. She's not your friend. And Golem's like, I made her a promise. And she's like, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to help me out? So she's trying to attack him again. And she gets burnt. And Golem tries to save her and holding her. And she was like, why are you trying to help me? And, you know, he goes, I made you a promise. And she was like, you're a good friend. I can't let you. I can't. Let me go. And she goes away into the water and dies. And. You know, you see Golem just really sad, puts flowers in the water. I mean, it, Golem is freaking just super nice. And then there was the season three where he meets this little girl. Well, not little girl. She meet, He meets this teenage girl 
who's apparently sick in the hospital and of course um he he, he befriends her and apparently she her dad says that her dad says that she needs an operation and in season three they've been going to different tournaments winning money so he asked them so he asked the crew say he said hey um i need the money and I need the money to help this girl out. And, of course, they said, yeah, man, you know, because Golem really, you usually don't ask for favors. So they were like, yeah, go ahead. Do what you got to do. We don't really need it. But come to find out, that girl wasn't even sick. She stole all the money. And they were like, and, of course, Tiger. I forgot about Tiger. Tiger's also in there. Tiger. Woo, Tiger. T Tiger's a beat. Tiger was about to go chase after. He's like, don't worry, Golem. I got your back. And, and then Golem, Golem said some crazy ass shit. He said... Oh, nah, don't worry about it. I'm just glad she's not sick. Don't worry. Everybody's like, and I, that just warmed my heart up, man. Golem, literally, Golem was that night. I said, yo, karma is going to come to them people. They fucked up because the girl decided not to steal all the money. She, she took half of the money instead and left it with Golem because Golem was such a kind-hearted person. She didn't want to steal all the money. And I'm like, damn, Golem. Man, you should have whooped her ass. Man, oh, that made me mad because Golem's such a good dude, man. I love Golem. Um, of course, you know, Tiger. I forgot about Tiger. You know, he's uh, he's part of the crew. He's like a, he looks like a wolf, but they call him Tiger. He has a brother named uh, Gray, Gray Wolf, and they battle it out. But one thing um, that was interesting, like I said, like, and the reason why, uh, another thing I'm going to say about this show is, of course, the Pokemon, Digimon comparisons. Uh, there was a couple monsters that look like Pokemon. Like, there was this one monster, he looked just like Geodude. Like, I swear to you, he looks just like Geodude. Like, if you put them together, I'll put a picture up. If you put them together, you'd be like, really? And there was another monster. Uh, if y'all remember Kabuterimon, there's a monster that looks just like his name is Juggernaut. And they look exactly alike. I'm like, are you serious right now? What is going on? Like, you guys just literally took Pokemon and Digimon and just combined together. Um, another thing I would say is even the battling. Even when, because in season three, they had a battle and Genki became the coach. So Genki is coaching the monsters like Pokemon would. Like, Use your this attack, use that attack, use this. I'm like, oh, really? And then, of course, the mystery disc. You can actually collect as many monsters as you want. But, of course, they're looking for the Phoenix. But, like, li literally, you just get a disc and you can push the thing and re revive it. And uh, pretty much either keep the monster or give it away. So, like I said, you can collect as many monsters as, as you want. But, um, like, man, what else I gotta say? What else is a comparison? Of course, Mew, the evil guy. I'm like, really? You could have chose any name. But you chose Mew as the evil guy. Really? He could have, you could have named him anything. But you're gonna call him Mew. Mew? Out of all of that shit? Man, come on. Like, you just, you literally, who was sitting in the dang on office saying, let's, what should we call this monster? Let's call it Mew. Ain't there a Pokemon named Mew? I don't think so. I don't think there is. Of course there is. Someone in the office need to be fired for that. That was messed up, man. You're gonna call this man Mew. But, um, yeah, man. Other than that, love the show. Definitely would love to watch it again and again. A lot of memories with this show. Um, like I said, it was, in, it was in my top five, Nostalgia Top Five, which you need to check that out. Um, man, is there anything else that I, I can think of this show, man? It's, this was an amazing show. I really did. Like I said, the ending was, eh. I would love to see what happened after. I kind of, I hate endings that just end. Like, like that, that, that has no, like, aftermath of what happened to everybody. Like, I kind of felt like, because... Um, there was a thing where, uh, apparently, I almost forgot to tell you, Mew, uh, Holly's father was sealed in Mew. That was crazy. Yeah, like, you find out that Holly's father is Mew the whole time. And you're just like, dang. And they had to, they had to, I think it's season three, they had to figure out a way to get, to separate Holly, not Holly, they had to separate, uh, Holly's dad and Mew. They had to separate them somehow, and they finally did it. Um, that was actually pretty cool. Also, and then, and also, even, and then also, I almost forgot, like, again, with the whole D Digimon thing, there was, like, four baddies. There was, like, four top baddies. Just, like, in D Digimon, there's always, like, four top generals you have to defeat before you get to the main guy. So, I'm just like, wow, you really copied it. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty interesting, too, with, with, with freaking Holly's dad. You know, I remember when I first, when I read, like, you know, when I first heard about it, I was like, you know, when I first saw that, I was like, Wow, I never would have thought it was Holly's dad. Like, I was like, no, nah, well, I mean, it makes sense, but I would never have thought that. But, um, man, that Magic Stone was trouble, boy. That Magic Stone could do anything. I was like, man. Other than that, man, I got never, really nothing to say about this show. Let me know in the comments below if you watch Monster Rancher. I know for me, 
uh, you know, I, again, the show was amazing. And uh, y'all should go check it out. I, like I said, I got it on DVD uh, on Mabino's Treasure. So, um, what else? Oh, uh, check out my other stuff. I do top fives, movie reviews, of course, anime reviews, whatever reviews. Um, also, I do stuff with, with, with Rhea Nixual. So, check that out. Do the same thing with him. Movie reviews, trailer reactions, whatever. You know. And also, man, I got a new podcast that y'all need to check out on ID's page. Well, actually, no. Well, actually, it'll be in the description. ID. ID. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I'm working with this guy named ID. We're doing a podcast. We already have three episodes in. It's on his channel for right now. Hopefully, I will be able to put some of the episodes on my channel so y'all can check it out. But definitely check out my boy ID, man. We've been we've been in the cut working. Uh, we got more uh, topics to talk about. So go check that out, man, on ID's uh, channel, um, which I'm on. So we do uh, topics like anything. We do topics on anime, stuff that's going on in the world. No, we try, we're trying not to do politics, but hey, whatever. And, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. Thanks for watching, man. I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace out.